Apprentices are no different to tradesmen. Um, if they're members of the union and they're covered by an industrial um, agreement, their entitlements um, and conditions are basically written down in stone and if they're not um, getting those entitlements well then we, we go into bat for them and, and um, nine times out of ten, in fact ten times out of ten, they get sorted. Our members and shop stewards gave us a list of claims that I think was around about 68. The three main ones that we get from blokes every day on every job is obviously pay. The living away from home, big one this time is all, all over time double. Although the contracting industry now is largely based on a 36 hour week, still a lot of sectors of industry work off a 38 hour week, which simply means you work 40 hours, you get paid for 38, that two hours accumulates over four weeks, which gives you 80 hours an RDO in lieu. So you work four weeks, you're entitled to an RDO. Everyone loves RDOs. Meal breaks are an important part of the day. You must ensure you have your smoko break or morning tea break that goes for 10 to 15 minutes. Lunch is normally at 12 or 12.30. That's a half an hour break. Although it's unpaid, it's important that you sit down and you have your lunch. Breaks are important because we do not want to contravene occupational health and safety standards. And it's also an important time to sit down and re-energise, eat food so you can continue your day. Overtime payment is applicable when you work past your standard hourly set times. If you work a 38 hour week, anything beyond that is considered overtime. If you work a standard 36 hour week, anything beyond that is considered overtime. Overtime is paid a double time if you work in the contracting sector. If you work on Saturdays, that is double time as well. Make sure when you work past your standard hours, you are paid at the correct way. It's called penalty rates slash overtime rates. As of late, all overtime is double time in the contracting industry. If you're unsure, contact your union. Leave provisions have changed over the last few years. It now comes under the personal slash carer's leave. You're entitled to 10 days per year. Compassionate bereavement, sick leave, annual leave. Annual leave is four weeks per year with a 17.5% loading on top. If you're unsure, contact your union office of what entitlements you are entitled to. Make sure you look for employers that have an enterprise agreement with the Electrical Trade Union. That's the best way to make sure you're working for the best rates of pay and condition in our industry. Whether it's shorter hours, whether it's better allowances, severance pay, sick pay, income protection, you'll only get all of those benefits if that employer has an agreement with the ETU.